For my major project, I looked at doing an assessment of drinking water challenges and concerns in First Nation communities in BC's southern interior region. So initially when I started looking at the project, I was aware that there were a lot of drinking water advisories and that that is really a pressing concern for a lot of First Nation communities and so I was interested in finding out if that was in fact the challenge that was being faced in the region. So for my project, um, I looked at doing two different case studies, the first of which was with Lytton First Nation, and they've recently implemented a drinking water treatment facility. And so they basically have the means now to address their drinking water concerns and to provide safe water for their community. And then the other case study was with Eshkinem, and they're an organization that represents different bands within the interior and they currently do not have any systems in place to address their drinking water challenges and so both of these cases were looked at to sort of compare what's going on in these areas and to assess what the challenges are for both groups. So in the interior region that we were looking at um, the climate is very hot and dry and they don't get a lot of precipitation and so that's is the main challenge as it pertains to drinking water sources is just that there is a shortage there. Piling on top of that um, issues with governance and involvement from the communities at various levels um, further complicates that. So in order to complete this project, uh, meetings were held with community members to get a good sense of the challenges and concerns faced within the various bands as it pertains to drinking water sources. Um, and additionally, a literature review was conducted as well. My major recommendations had to do with primarily looking at watershed level management of water sources. So looking at a more holistic approach to securing water. At the community level, I would recommend that there be more data accumulated. So when trying to address drinking water challenges, it's important to know what the source of the challenge is. So whether that be the drinking water quality issues, so where is that contamination coming from, or the water shortage issue, so why is there a lack of water. It's really important to also have collaboration, so not just collaboration within the communities themselves, but also externally, so collaboration between the communities as well as different levels of government and NGOs that have a stake in water issues. This major project provided me with the opportunity to apply some of the scientific and technical skills that I already had to a concern and a question that I was really interested in. For my major project, I looked at and explored the challenges and concerns of rural First Nations communities regarding their food security in the interior of BC. So the main food security challenges that Eshkinem faces is that they have a lot of recreation in the area, that the climate is changing and it's changing in both a positive and negative way, but they've seen a lot of flooding in the area, forest fires, the area has been heavily devastated by the mountain pine beetle. And they're also concerned about the lack of involvement and their loss of influence over the local resources and the way that they've been developed and how this is in turn impacting the habitat of significant protein sources that are culturally important to these communities. When I initially started this project, we had the preconceived notion that these communities were mostly concerned with their plant-based food sources and food security in, in that sense. But what we actually found through multiple discussions with different groups is that they're mostly concerned with the loss of their protein-based meat sources. These communities initially relied very heavily on salmon, but since salmon populations have been on the decline, they've been forced to rely more heavily on different protein sources such as ungulate species. And their main concern with these now is the loss of ungulate habitat and how this is going to in turn impact their food security. From a First Nations perspective and from the perspective of these communities, the impact that logging has had is that they believe that it's removed a lot of the habitat and it's affected the way that these species are distributed throughout the area and affected the way that they 
behave in the local areas that are of importance to these communities. So the local harvesting areas where they go to to gather and harvest food. My major project was an exploratory report and the way that I conducted it was I had informal interviews and informal discussions with groups and community members as well as a representative from the province of BC. In addition to this, I also did a review of the relevant literature. In the end, my recommendations for these groups and these communities was to work towards local governance systems and that could involve um, collaborating with NGOs and academic institutions to help provide them with the technical expertise and financial resources that they don't have. It's really important that when resource management teams are making decisions that they look at the local areas of importance to these small rural communities because these communities rely on these areas for their livelihoods. What I learned most as a student from this experience was really improving my communication skills, which are essential to moving forward into your career path. I learned that it's really important to actively listen and not just listen to what people are saying, but to hear what they're saying and help them help you understand what they're going through in their situations.